deep in the far reaches of space. There used to be a planet known as Planet Vegeta, home to the mighty warrior race called Saiyans. Gifted with amazing strength, they took over many worlds, but after Frieza destroyed most of their race, the remaining Saiyans took a new path. One of these Saiyans, known as Son Goku, would eventually reach a power that even surpasses the gods. What if he had achieved such a power sooner? What if Goku got Ultra Instinct early? How would events play out if Goku had such a transformation earlier? History as you know it, changes now. On a world, only accessible to the gods. A powerful warrior ponders on what his new master has said. The Saiyan prodigy known as Son Goku is thinking about what his master Whis had just told him. Whis had told both Goku and Vegeta that using their mind to dodge only slows them down. If they were able to move subconsciously, then not even Lord Beerus would be able to defeat them. Whis then goes on to tell them that Lord Beerus was close to mastering this before, but he stopped trying to learn it some time ago. Vegeta had paid little attention to this, but for some reason it is stuck in Goku's mind. Goku would then fall asleep, and the next morning, he would put on his gi and walk outside, ready to train. Vegeta is already next to Whis, awaiting Goku's arrival, and before they would begin their daily routine, Goku would ask Whis if he can be specifically trained to be able to move subconsciously. And Whis couldn't help but let out a smile. Whis would agree to this, so as well as training to increase the strength of his base form, Goku would also be learning how to move without thought. Vegeta, however, would rather rely on pure strength, so he would continue his path through the god forms, while Goku struggles to achieve a power far beyond that of any god form. A couple of months would pass, and the self-proclaimed Emperor of the Universe, Frieza, would arrive on Earth. With four months of training after his resurrection, Frieza believed that he will be able to finally get his revenge on that filthy monkey, Goku. Frieza would watch as his soldiers get taken down by the warriors of Earth, but Frieza isn't the slightest bit worried. Frieza would begin shooting death beams at Son Gohan, leaving him near death. Just before he can land a final blow, Goku and Vegeta would arrive on the battlefield. Frieza would mock the two Saiyans, stating that his power is incomprehensible compared to their own. The two would brush this off, and then Goku would hover in the air, staring at Frieza dead in the eyes. Their battle would commence, with the two prodigies clashing fists. Goku landing a few devastating blows, but Frieza can't seem to even land a hit. Frieza would soar into the sky, with Goku in hot pursuit. After trading a few blows, Goku would slam Frieza back into the ground. Frieza would shoot a flurry of key blasts back up to Goku, but Goku would then smack them all away with ease. Frieza would appear above Goku, shooting a giant sphere of ki at him, with Goku firing the Kamehameha in response, completely dispersing the attack, and hitting Frieza. Frieza's rage boils to the surface, as Goku mocks Frieza, asking him if that is all he can do. An evil grin would wash over Frieza's face, as he would begin to chuckle. Frieza tells Goku, as a reward for not giving him a lackluster battle, he will show him his true power. Frieza begins to power up, bursting his aura, and the pressure alone nearly knocks Goku back. His purple aura turns gold, and the aura engulfs Frieza. The aura fades, and Frieza hovers there, completely golden. Goku can tell that the power-up is immense, however he is undeterred, and gets in his fighting stance. Frieza expected Goku to become a Super Saiyan, however he doesn't refuse an easy victory, so he gets in his fighting stance as well. Frieza rushes at Goku, landing a barrage of attacks extremely damaging Goku. Goku closes his eyes, and he begins to clear his mind, as Frieza continues to pummel him. Then, Frieza is about to land a blow on Goku's face, but miraculously, Goku dodges. Frieza believes this to have been luck, so he tries to hit Goku again, but yet again, he evades the attack. Frieza then throws a flurry of punches at Goku, with Goku dodging every single one, and when Frieza throws the final punch, Goku catches it, gripping his fist tightly. Goku then opens his eyes, their colour now being a piercing silver. A strange aura surrounds Goku, as he lands a gut punch on Frieza, blowing the wind out of him and dealing immense damage. Frieza begins shooting death beams at Goku, with every single one of them being dodged. As Frieza gets angrier, Goku gets closer towards him, 
and Frieza would then soar into the sky and begin to power up and attack to destroy the entire planet. Goku looks up at Frieza, completely unfazed, and he just stares at the tyrant, watching him as he powers up his attack. Frieza would fire the attack, Goku observing as the attack nears him. However, a second later, the attack mysteriously dissipates and Goku is seemingly banished. Frieza is confused, but then he hears someone behind him. Frieza turns around to see Goku holding the attack in his hand. Goku would then flick his wrist, dispersing Frieza's attack, and before Frieza could react, Goku appears behind Frieza once again, landing a devastating blow on his spine. Frieza screams out in pain as he reverts to his final form. Goku kicks Frieza into the ground, creating a giant crater. And then, Goku would gracefully float down to Frieza, and Frieza would look up at Goku, completely terrified. Frieza attempts to blow up the planet once again, however Goku easily reacts to this, throwing Frieza into the sky and ending the tyrant with a full power Kamehameha. Goku dropped out of the godly form, all of his stamina depleted. Beerus is amazed that a mortal was actually able to use such a godly technique, and Whis is of course proud of his student. Vegeta does respect the power of Ultra Instinct, however seeing the stamina issues to it, along with Goku not being able to access it at will yet, it seems as if the god forms are much more reliable, and he would rather continue expanding his power in that way. The two Saiyans, as well as Beerus and Whis, would head back to the Destroyer's world to continue expanding the two Saiyans' power, both reaching new levels of power, however in different ways, both Saiyans with their own respective paths, and each Saiyan being driven by the other. The self-proclaimed ruler of the universe, Frieza, has been defeated once again, however, this battle has changed the course of history as we know it. What else will Goku having the power of Ultra Instinct impact? Will Goku having this power early be beneficial for his universe? Or will it lead to its downfall? What will happen to our heroes in a universe where Goku has Ultra Instinct early? Find out next time on Sacred Ball Z.